Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to start by thanking the Grand Chan Foundation for the continuous effort to organize this competition and bring together voices and talents from all over the world. I would also like to um, thank Veronica and the organizing teams for inviting me to speak here today. I will not be speaking about type design per se, but rather about the cultural importance of the Arabic and Perso-Arabic script. And um, we'll be presenting a design exhibition I conceived and curated since 2021. So let me first start by sharing my slides. So the exhibition is entitled um, Inner Structures, Outer Rhythms, Contemporary Arab and Persian Graphic Design. The exhibition brings together designers from Southwest Asia and North Africa, known as the Swana region. It showcases various voices with multiple aesthetic approaches to working with the script and using it for various functions. Um, the exhibition was initially commissioned by the Minneapolis School of Art and Design in the US um, in 2020. And we worked on this exhibition for about a year and it opened um, in, on the 1st of September, 2021. The brief was um, wide and challenging. And so I decided as a curator to focus on themes that go beyond design to include representations of culture and societies of this region. Um, the exhibition at, uh, at the MCAT gallery um, and due to COVID-19 restrictions at the time, uh, did not allow for a lot of people to visit. Actually, it was really strictly uh, for their students. So this got us thinking that maybe this exhibition should be a touring one and that we should produce a publication that further expands on the works and themes that were presented in the exhibition. Um, so it, it, uh, it was closed in November, 2021, and it took us about three years to have it um, travel. Um, so the first place it went to was um, in Qatar, in Doha, Qatar. Uh, it went to, uh, it opened in Virginia Commonwealth University in Qatar and was adapted to the new site and context where uh, it overlapped with their uh, annual design conference called Tasmim Doha. And it was also at the time there was um, um, the first ever, the first uh, edition of um, Doha Design Week. So there was a lot of designers in, in town and in the university, and it was nice. It was also viewed by different people, but it was still within a design context. So here you see another example of you know, what it looked like in that context. Um, then it traveled to the Design Museum in Hamburg, and it opened, so the Museum für Kunst und Gewerbe in Hamburg, um, it opened on the 28th of April and will be running until the 26th of April, 2025. Here again, uh, the exhibition had to be adapted to the new space and context, but this time it was in a very special context. Um, it was part of the Islamic art department in the museum, and it was catering for a wider and more general public, not just designers. Being part of the Islamic art wing um, of the museum brought the design work into direct conversation with traditional and historical artifacts, where also script was a central um, aesthetic component. And it also uh, provided me the opportunity to visualize the continuity of the Islamic art tradition and in a contemporary form, especially through graphic design, lettering, and type design. Um, so here you see an example of we also organized in the in in the museum a space for like a reading table um, where people could actually read about you know more give people more context to know about design from the region and the relation between calligraphy design and culture. So this was um, a really nice um, evolution of of the of this exhibition. 
Um, and then we, uh, at the same time, the book came out. So it just was released two, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, it has the same title and the book was, it was produced in the US in collaboration with MCAD. And it was, uh, you know, a, an opportunity to also expand on these themes with having more essays, more interviews and more descriptions of the work and the designers presented in the exhibition. So um, with this, I would like to conclude with uh, a small uh, preview of the exhibition in Hamburg to give you a sense of the, of the exhibition and the themes that were addressed. My name is Huda Smithhausen Abi Fares. I am the curator of this exhibition, Inner Structures, Outer Rhythms, Contemporary Arab and Persian Graphic Design. The exhibition revolves around four themes. The first theme, of course, is that all the work is actually using the Perso-Arabic script. Um, all the works tend to have a, a, an intended way of working with the script, going beyond calligraphy and experimenting with form and with styles and with ideas, so that the script becomes like um, people in the Arab world know it already. They see the script not just as, as text, but also as an image. So then, they, then the way it's designed expresses a different image and a different meaning. So beyond calligraphy is kind of like an overarching theme, uh, but there are of course some works that deal only with that. For example, the work of Lara Aswad, uh, the work of Asil Ben, uh, ben Amara. Then the th second theme is um, engagement with political and social issues. As a designer working in these, in these um, contexts, in these cultures, you're very aware of your, of, your, of your position as a communicator, and you're very aware of the fact that you can influence and maybe inform and maybe make positive change in, the, in, your, con in your direct context. So politics is also sometimes an underlying theme in various works. Some works directly deal with political statements, but some, some works just by existing are a political statement because of their context. Um, a third theme is really the um, designing for culture, because we always assume there's only conflict and problems in, 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 in that region, but there's also new developments, new engagements. It's also a form of political resistance of creating cultural institutions, museums, uh, modernizing society in one way or another. Um, so a lot of designers, of course, that or a lot of work that's shown here is also work done for, for cultural engagements. And sometimes it's self-initiated, like the work of Studio Safar. They started their own magazine, Journal Safar, with the idea that there's not enough uh, magazines writing about um, art, design, and visual culture in the region. And the work of Studio Carga, you know, they start to make exhibitions, uh, kind of collect um, from different private archives works, and then produce publications about that. And so there's an engagement with culture that is a form of resistance, but it's also about culture. Um, and then the fourth theme that runs in, in this is is of course a theme that's very much in, in Arab and Persian culture, which is music and poetry. These are two art forms that are very um, highly valued, almost more valued than visual arts in some ways, but at the same time they become really good inspiration for a lot of the work, for, for a lot of visual artists and for a lot of designers. <clears throat> and so the section on music and and poetry is very interesting because it's different forms of poetry, it's different ways of using poetry to, to create a kind of um, visual rhythm and experimentation with form and with, with scripts. Um, and sometimes it's also um, like literally using music as a way to express visually, you know, the, the sounds.
with this, I can conclude and say thank you and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you.